Hi folks, this is your old, old pal Uncle Al. I love to cook and this is part of the cooking segment. I tell a lot of people because of the cost of fast food in California, I tell a lot of people skip McDonald's, look out, use coupons, check what's available. Now a lot of people, except for Sassy Gal Prepping, go check out her channel, very good channel. Okay, Danger Dale, Chris Leon, who's your prepping nurse, prepping with Sarge, Sassy Gal Prepping. And we know the rest right here. Okay. Big problem, Sassy Gal Prepping showed us that Tyson, okay, is doing bug part. Go see her short, very good short. It's out there and everything. Now, a lot of people don't investigate like Uncle Al. All right. They've been talking about putting bug protein, Protex. Who's laughing at old Uncle Al now? All right. I was going to try to talk with my teeth, but the trouble is I can't use both sets to talk and I tend to throw up. So I'm doing this without my teeth. Okay. The big problem with Protex is it was originally used as, because it has three different kinds of bugs, it has lar meal larvae, it has crickets, and I forgot the third. But anyway, that was used for animal feed use. But some bonehead on the board and stockholders thought it was a good idea to cut out the middlemen, chickens, and go directly to the consumer, you. All right? I have no problem eating bugs. All right? Once it's been processed and recombinated into a powder, you can't tell. Now, the bad thing is when they recombine it, it could be used as a protein powder or as a combiner. A motion to glue things together. Okay? What is Tyson's biggest corporation that buys from them? Remember, think of chicken. Think of McDonald's and everybody else who buys their processed meats. I'll let you figure that one out because I let, read the quarterly reports. Okay? Not only is it a Protex, it's a protein powder, but it's a binder. In other words, it's a glue. Okay? So I tell a lot of people not to eat the spicy chicken nuggets, which is about six bucks with fries and maybe a small drink, I can't remember, in the LA area. Unless you're like Uncle Al. I'm used to eating bugs. Also a lot of other things. All right, this is friendly advice. You could take it, do your own research, Google it up, Check on Tyson sites, check out Sassy Gal Prepping, check on Bing, Yahoo, any site you want to make sure it's current information. So do your own research. Because the lawyer says I had to say that. Okay, this is my opinion. But remember, I'm used to eating bugs. It doesn't bother me. However, Tyson, if you notice, who makes the largest amount of chicken nuggets? For frozen TV dinners and that corporation with the double M's. Okay, think about that. A lot of people don't. All right, uh, Food History did this. They ex showed who was the biggest manufacturer for McDonald's in bold print of them shaking hands. And people still don't watch my channel. I don't know why. All right, so. Take a look at that. Go check out Food History, Sassy Gal Prepping. Go on Google, go on Bing, go at the Tyson's website. Okay? A lot of people are getting upset. I heard Indonesia, Japan, Saudi Arabia. It ain't kosher. Tell the Saudis they've been eating chicken adulterated with this. You're going to see a field day. Okay? But I'm Muslim. It's not halal. Okay? It's not kosher. 
I could see everybody in McDonald's in Israel. I'm sorry, but that ain't kosher and that ain't halal. If you read both biblical stuff, you don't eat ground feeders. Okay? What do you call crickets and maggots and the other bug? I can't can't remember. Sorry. You got to check out Sassy Gal Prepping. So, remember, grow a garden, save America, don't eat any chicken nuggets, and spicy chicken nuggets in the L.A. area. I know L.A. prepper's stuffing his mouth full. Yeah, six bucks, not a problem. And it's spicy. You know why it's spicy? So you don't taste these. God, people are... Like I said, do your own research. This is my opinion. Okay, check out Tyson's website. It's all there. Okay, learn how to properly store your food. Okay, a lot of people complain, I ate Indian food. I'm Mexican. Well, that means you're Castilian and you're not used to eating spicy food. If you're Mitzo Mitzo or Indian, that wouldn't bother you. But if you have Castilian blood in or European blood, it bloat you and you burp. What you do is you eat yogurt when you eat Indian food. I keep telling this to people. They look at me like I stepped on their cap. Okay, folks. I'll catch you later. Don't forget, get a bicycle and spare tires. It's mechanical. Doesn't need feed or water or gas. Just strong muscles and kind of good balance. That's why I'm going to get a tricycle. I'm tired of wearing the helmet. Um, let's see. What else I was thinking of? Anyway. Good luck. God bless. It's 2024. Reality check. Bye now.